In the summer of 2025, astronomers detected something moving through our solar system, but it was moving far too fast. Its chemistry was all wrong, and its origin pointed to a time before our own sun was even born. This is the story of 3i slash Atlas, an interstellar visitor that seems to be breaking every rule in the scientific playbook. It all began on July 1, 2025. An astronomer named Edward, using the Atlas telescope in Chile, spotted an object moving at a velocity so high it couldn't possibly be gravitationally bound to our sun. It was traveling at over 130,000 miles per hour. That's about 58 kilometers per second. This makes it the fastest object ever recorded passing through our stellar neighborhood. Scientists calculated its orbital eccentricity, that's a measure of how stretched out its path is, to be over six. Now, to put that into perspective, anything gravitationally bound to our sun has an eccentricity of less than one. This thing wasn't just passing through, it was screaming past us. That single measurement was definitive proof. The object, which was officially named 3I Atlas, was a traveler from another star system. It's only the third interstellar visitor we've ever been able to confirm, and it would soon prove to be the most mysterious by far. You see, tracing its path backward revealed an origin that wasn't just far away in space, but astonishingly far back in time. Its trajectory didn't originate from the galactic plane, you know, our familiar neighborhood of younger stars. Instead, astronomers traced it all the way back to the thick disk, a sparse, ancient halo of stars that are essentially relics from the dawn of the Milky Way. Now, based on its origin and its velocity, astronomers estimate that 3i Atlas could be 10 billion years old. That would make it a primordial relic, a messenger from a time before the Earth and even our own sun existed. So, of course, our two most powerful space telescopes were turned toward the object, and each one revealed another piece of an increasingly strange puzzle. First, Hubble captured its first image, a faint teardrop of dust. This confirmed it was a comet, its ice sublimating into gas as it warmed. But then, the James Webb Telescope in an analysis led by scientist Martin Cordner found a stunning anomaly. The gas was almost entirely carbon dioxide, not water. This was a critical clue. You see, CO2 is extremely volatile, and it burns off at very low temperatures. Its abundance meant that this object had likely never passed close to a star before. It was a pristine relic from the very beginning of our galaxy. But as scientists gathered more and more data, 3i Atlas began to systematically defy the known laws of physics that govern comets. In early September, the mystery deepened. The Webb telescope saw enormous amounts of carbon dioxide gas venting from the object, a process we call outgassing. Now, this should have acted like a natural thruster, pushing the comet and visibly altering its path. And yet, it didn't. The object's trajectory remained perfectly, impossibly stable. This left scientists with two deeply unsettling possibilities. Either the object is so incredibly massive and dense that it can't be budged, or something is actively providing a counterthrust to keep it on course. And the list of contradictions just kept growing. First, weeks after its flyby of Mars, observers noticed it was glowing green, but earlier spectral data showed it lacked the very carbon molecules needed to create that specific glow. Then, some amateur reports claimed to see smaller objects moving alongside it, almost as if in formation. Its light signature was also bizarre. Polarization readings from astronomer Zuri Gray revealed that it scattered light in a way that had never been documented in any known comet or asteroid. And then, there's the issue of the Mars flyby itself. On October 3rd, it passed just 29 million kilometers from the planet, yet NASA withheld all high-resolution images from its orbiters, releasing only a single blurred photo from the Perseverance rover, citing processing delays. The object's path through the galaxy didn't just point to an ancient region of space, but to the precise location of one of astronomy's most profound unsolved mysteries. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb noted that its trajectory originates from the exact same region in the constellation Sagittarius as the WOW signal. That's a powerful 72-second radio transmission that was detected back in 1977 and has never been explained. In response, Loeb's own Galileo project has begun monitoring the object for any artificial signs. Loeb and his team calculated the odds of this alignment being just a random coincidence. The probability? a mere 0.6%. That's a tantalizingly low number that suggests a potential link between the two anomalous events. Soon after Loeb's finding, unconfirmed reports began to emerge from amateur radio astronomers. 
they claim to be detecting brief 11-second radio bursts from the object's direction. And these bursts reportedly contained a repeating sequence of prime numbers, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Because prime numbers are fundamentally mathematical and aren't known to be produced by natural cosmic phenomena, this pattern is considered a classic hallmark of an intelligent, deliberately constructed signal. The object is now approaching its most critical moment. It is about to make its closest pass by our sun, a violent encounter where it will be completely hidden from our view. By the end of October, 3i Atlas will slip behind the sun, becoming completely invisible from Earth for three critical weeks. When it emerges in late November, Europe's JUICE spacecraft is scheduled to get a close look, before the object becomes fully visible again from Earth in December. This solar encounter presents a definitive test. If the object is natural, even a strange one, the sun's immense gravity and heat might simply tear it to pieces. But if it's artificial, some have theorized the solar pass isn't a danger, but a destination, a chance to power up or to finally activate. Now, while the European Space Agency's JUICE mission will get the first official look in late November, that data is slated to be kept under wraps, not made public until early 2026. This leaves the rest of the world watching the skies, waiting and speculating about what JUICE may have seen. The answer we get in December could mark the single most important discovery in history, or it could be silence, as another cosmic mystery is swallowed by a star. For now, all we can do is watch the sky and wait.